Y'all better be afraid! 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 This is BBBR episode four. Today we're reviewing two beers from Cigar City Brewing and talking about health and fitness. Welcome back guys, Randy here with Heather of course on BBBR today we're discussing health and fitness and reviewing two of our favorite beers from Cigar City Brewing in Tampa, Florida. Yes. I'm reviewing the High Lie, it's an IPA 7.5 ABV. And I have the Florida Cracker Belgian Style White Ale and it is 5.5. Let's crack them. I think I won. Did you see how it went up? And At this moment, Randy knew he'd been defeated. I think I won. I think I won. I think I won. Now it's going down. What happened? I think I won that one, guys. Ooh. Mine is very nice. It has a hint of orange in it. Mine's taste? pretty good. Mine's pretty hoppy. The highlight is a little hoppier than some of the other IPAs that I've reviewed on the show. So it's going to taste that way too, I believe. You believe? All right, first taste. Cheers. Mine was pretty good. <laughs> um, mine is also very good. This was a trick. I've tried highlight a bunch of times and I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite IPAs, but it is hoppier than normal. So if you don't really like IPAs, I would suggest going with some of the other ones we reviewed because it's a little more for the seasoned IPA drinker. Yes. It's kind of an acquired taste. I will agree. I don't like IPAs in general, but that one is way too hoppy for me. Um, mine is good. It's typical wheat style um, with a hint of orange. Very similar to, again, a Blue Moon, but it's a little hoppier, I guess. Hoppy? Maybe? Let me see. Not hoppy as an IPA hoppy, but just a little. I see what you're saying. It has like a little bitterness right. to it. Right, yes. A little Bitter. bitterness. Bitterness is a better word. So since this is kind of your bread and butter, I'll let you start it off. Talk about kind of what fitness means to you and how it fits into your life. Well, first of all, let me start off by saying that since my college days, I have tried to work out and be active and get in shape. I was a little overweight in college. So I, you know, dieted and exercised to my best of my knowledge. I mean, I didn't know any, any better till I met you. And Randy have, has taught me everything, basically everything I know about lifting, working out, nutrition and everything as far as that goes. With that being said, it plays a huge role in my life. I like to watch what I eat. I like to work out. If I don't, it kind of throws off my whole routine. And it's not just because I want to, you know, feel good, look good type thing. It's more of like that hour, hour and a half in the morning is my time. It's my time to go just process everything. It's like my mental escape from everything. I, you know, I put my music in, I'm just in my own little zone and it's my me time, I guess. So obviously by looking at me, I'm no workout fitness type of guru guy, but I have spent a huge portion of my life training at a high competitive level for baseball since I was four or five up until I was 24 probably. So I think I kind of got burnt out on it, but I do know a lot and I was able to teach Heather and help her reach her fitness goals through what I've learned through being an athlete and honestly being a little bit obsessed in my early or late teens, early 20s as far as being a bodybuilder or being mm -hmm. fitness or just looking good in general. So I don't really, I've tried to get back into it and I just cannot. I, I'll go for a couple weeks and I fizzle out. And uh, yeah. to me, I like to drink beer, obviously. I like to eat pizza, I like to eat ribs, I like to eat wings. I feel as though I could look good now, but I'm gonna be 40, 50 and look sloppy, have a dad bod anyways. So what's the point of killing myself in the gym every day and watching every calorie I eat? I mean, yeah, I could have a six pack if I wanted to, but to me, I'm married, so there's really no point for me to go through all that trouble. I don't wanna be a fat slob. Like, I won't, I won't just completely let myself go. I try to find a balance of kind of being healthy 
at a, at a healthy weight. I don't want my blood pressure to get too high. So I try to practice moderation when it comes to beer or overeating. Yeah. I won't sit and eat eight slices of pizza. I'll have a couple slices here. And I'll try not to drink during the week. Doesn't try. always go that way. So I try to limit my beers. Well, now don't get me wrong, guys. I, of course, like to have my beers and my pizza and wings and ribs as well. However, I tend to do it in moderation. I typically don't drink during the week unless you go out for wing night. Always an exception. Until Friday comes. And then Friday I'll have a few. Saturday I'll have a few. Sunday. Depends on what we're doing if I'll have some. I do prepare our lunches every day, which is normally just chicken and vegetables. So at least we have some type of routine during the week and then the weekends are kind of our cheat meals, if you will. So what kind of tips would you give them for being in shape or reaching their fitness goals, whether it's weight loss or strengthening? Well, first I think you need to figure out what your goal is. Is it to lose weight, to gain muscle? You know, what is your, your goal? My goal starting out when Randy and I first got together was mainly to just lose weight. And then once I hit that goal, then I decided that I wanted to put on more muscle. And then just find little ways. You don't have to be drastic. It doesn't have to be strict dieting. Just find little tips and tricks that'll help you out during the week. If it's meal prepping just your lunches every day during the week, that you something that you know that's healthy, take it with you to work, wherever, and then you have that option available and you're not like, oh, what am I gonna eat? Do I go down to the cafeteria? Do I go out? You know, that's gonna save you a lot. Of time and it really does not take a lot of time to prepare lunches I make chicken on Sundays done for the week and then the night before I portion it out for the next day and we're good to go but today we're having pulled pork back to the beer how's your beer tasting mine is tasting excellent how well, yours I got, I got. oh yep last sip still good it's still excellent <laughs> it's a really good IPA but it's more for the seasoned IPA drinker it's a little hoppier, more bitter, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. I was going to say, that's normally your go-to. It's my go-to. Go when nothing else, you can't figure out what else he wants, it's always a highlight. It's probably my number one go-to IPA, honestly, if I yes. had to pick one. I would agree. Partially because they're local, partially because they're right here in Tampa, yeah. and I like their style, I like their beers, and... Pretty it's much a, we can find it anywhere, Yeah, too. It's, it's in most of our grocery stores and most of our gas stations yeah. now. So. so real quick about the brewery. They are located in Tampa, Florida. We've been there a few times. Mm -hmm. They have a big, um, obviously, brewery on site that you can do tours of. And then they have, like, a tasting room with games, pool tables, and stuff like that. So it's a great place. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. They have a lot of options to pick from. And, of course, good beer. So on the fitness topic... It's good to find a balance. You know, I don't like extremes. I tend to take things to the extreme is probably why I don't like them. If I work out, it's almost like I have to do all or nothing and I work out six days a week and can't eat this, can't eat that, very regimental. And that's why I can't do it. Like I'll do some cardio, hit the heavy bag, try to stay in decent shape. You know, I don't right. want to just keep gaining weight, but I've, kind of found a balance where I'm not going to be super ripped, but I'm not going to gain a whole lot of weight. And I really enjoy food and beer because right. we're not going to live forever. When you die, you're just going to be a skeleton. No one's going to remember how ripped you were unless you take a ton of Instagram photos, which you probably will if you're Selfie. super ripped. Selfie it up. <laughs> but it's not going to matter in 20 years, 50 years is my point and the way I look at it. Yes. But your, and your view is different. Well... Sort of. I mean, I, I agree with you as far as that goes. Nobody's going to remember what you looked like when you were 20, 25. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm not telling you how old I am. Um, and you do sometimes get a little upset with me because you think that I am too extreme. It's or pretty that extreme, I think it, yeah. Well, I, I think the way you train is kind of like a professional bodybuilder, the way you look at it. And you have to understand that they do that almost seasonally. They don't right. do it 365 days of the year. You right. know, they take a couple months off and stuff. Yeah. Well, like I said, if I take miss a day from the gym, it throws off my whole regimen. But I only I go five days a week, Monday through Friday. Weekends are free time. Do whatever we want. So, I mean, that's just my take on it. I, I still like, like I said, and to enjoy beers, the drinks, the pizza, obviously. Drink pizza? You never drank pizza? I have seen someone put it in a blender before, but I think to do is Jimmy. Put it in a blender, piece of pizza, and... <laughs> no, pizza blender. blender pizza, pizza blender with, with beer. 
<laughs> okay, that's taking it to an extreme. So it's my turn for lightning round questions for you, right? Lightning round. Are you I'm ready? gonna borrow your beer though. Oh, I guess you can have a sip since you finish yours so quickly. If you were to be on an island, stranded, what was the one item you would take with you? Beer. I'm going out with a bang. <laughs> Favorite cereal? Ooh, I like those O's with the uh, O's. I don't know how to describe them. Like Oreo O's? O's. Or it's like... just O H apostrophe S. Oh, yeah, O's. those are good. Okay. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes. Of some form. Aliens? Yes. Y'all don't blast me in the comments, okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain. But this After, is lightning round. Yeah, I can't explain yeah. now. Favorite beer? Ooh. I, I have to break it up into craft or regular. Favorite craft beer? Style or one beer in particular? One beer in particular. High Lie would be my IPA. Lager, probably Budweiser. Is that, is that? I think he missed the point that it's a lightning round. Favorite season? Ooh, summer. Summer, then fall. Oh, I would agree with that. Yeah. Okay, last one. Favorite dog breed? German Shepherd. Wait, we gotta go back because you have to explain about Bigfoot and aliens so they don't blast you. No, let them blast me. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I think the universe is too big. There's other life out there, whether it's like the movies, I don't know, but there's other intelligent life for sure somewhere out there. And I'm pretty big into solar stuff, astronomy. Every time we go, like yeah. when we went to Chicago, we had to go to the astronomy. It's legit. I love that stuff. It but is. Yeah, he drug aliens. me around everywhere. There's aliens and there's Bigfoot. There's a chupacabra. There's everything. Y'all better be afraid. 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 Let us know your tips in the comments, fitness tips. I will say being fit and healthy is great for beard growth and growing a healthy beard. So watch what you eat sometimes and drink plenty of water is a yes. really big tip. Let us know your tips in the comments as far as fitness, staying in shape, if you even care about it because I don't care that much anymore. <laughs> let us know what you think about the video, what you want to see in upcoming videos as well. Just yeah, let us guys, know if you hate it. Ideas. Some thumbs up, shoot us a couple thumbs up. You know, like thumbs down. No. It, no, no thumbs, thumbs down. down no. Maybe a couple. More thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on BBBR or our regular episodes. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all your support. We'll see you later. I'll cheers myself. <laughs>